we all want the conflict in this room also, uh, the conflict in the Middle East to end. But Madam Minister, apart from five minutes talking about Israel, it will be good and it would be a European solution if you would dedicate maybe one second to talk about Hamas, Hezbollah and about future perspectives, that would be a European solution. But your people forgot about it. As nobody can turn a blind eye to the losses of human life in Gaza and the humanitarian challenge faced by the Palestinian people. True. As we cannot forget either the pain of the Israeli families waiting in despair for the return of their loved ones. We all wanted to end, and there is a solution for that. The release of Israeli hostages and the demilitarization of Gaza. On 19th of October, this parliament agreed by a compelling majority that Hamas can no longer be part of the future of Palestine. As we have always done, we keep supporting a two-state solution. But sustainable peace cannot exist as long as Hamas and other terrorist groups hijack the Palestinian cause and threat the existence of Israel, the only democracy of the region. Remember, we are talking about two parts, okay? Not only one. We cannot ignore either the elephant in the room, the puppet master, Iran. It is now clearer than ever who is behind and benefiting from this crisis. Do we want to be puppets of the regime? By failing to keep our unity, we are just taking us further away from peace. Dear colleagues, at some point this parliament will have to make clear choice to say no to those who murder women, homosexuals, Christians, Jews, to say no to those who reject our democratic principles and deny Israel's right to exist, or face a future where Iran and their proxies will succeed in denying any hope for democracy and peace in the Middle East. And make no mistake, Europe is the next target.